best activities to do to get people to think in systems is to do a systems map. I've developed some really simple analog maps that help anyone understand the complexity of an everyday system. In this case, our teachers and students are exploring the education system, something that we all have an intimate understanding of. A systems map is a really simple way to understand the dynamics and the relationships that we have with these systems and in between them. It's very simple to do, you need a big piece of paper and some markers. Small groups of between three to six people, everybody has to have a pen and there's no wrong answers. Come with me and I'll show you briefly what these people are doing. Just quickly, can you tell us about your very beautifully chaotic map? I always say the chaotic, the more chaotic the better because it helps us uncover some of the things within it. So, can you tell me a little bit about what you discovered? Well, one thing we discovered is that this is our vision of education and we maybe don't realize uh, how other people think in other countries because they are so different. And for example, I wrote uniform, uniforms and we don't have that in Finland. So, uh -huh. yeah, that's something also related to circular economy because we all think what we need and uh, not maybe from all the perspectives. Excellent. And did you find the activity easy to do? Why? It's like it was just you know, almost instinct, like just you put words on the paper. Like. Yeah, and systems are very instinctual for us as humans. We're actually, like I said, our bodies are made up of systems, we're interacting with systems. So it's amazing how instinctual, but I always find at the beginning people are a little bit hesitant. They're like, what are the rules? <laughs> 